Hey YouTube, Wild Daniel here. I wanted to do a quick guide video on something that I found extremely challenging when I was first trying to get started in the theater of blood. It's almost impossible to get in a team that can get all the way through the raid and successfully kill Versic so you can show off your first kill count and say that you've completed a raid. I will add that this is not a guide on how to fight the bosses and complete the challenges in the theater of blood. There are already plenty of guides on that, and they probably explain it better than I'd be able to. So, the issue is because of an unwritten rule at the Theater of Blood, that you have to team with people who are close to your kill count or less. So if you have zero kill count, you're pretty much stuck teaming with other people with zero kill count. If you have 100 kill count, you can team with other people who are right around 100 kill count or less. If you have 2400 kill count, you can pretty much team with whoever you want. This system is in place because nobody wants to wipe. Wiping sucks. It costs you 100k, whatever supplies you used, and it wasted your time not actually earning any loot. So anyone who is proficient in the theater of blood doesn't want to waste their time teaming up with people who are new and inexperienced with theater of blood because they don't want to risk wasting their time and money on a team that's incompetent and will wipe. So it's kind of a catch-22, right? You're not allowed on good teams that you know are going to complete the raid because your kill count is too low. But you can't get your kill count up because you can't get on any good teams. So what can you do to get that first kill count and then keep getting your kill count up high enough that you aren't considered a learner anymore? Here's where you have a few options. The first option is to keep teaming up with other people who are also a very low kill count. This option might sound familiar to you, because this is usually what more experienced players will tell you when you complain about the injustice of how difficult it is for a new player at the Theater of Blood. So, in a perfect world, you'd make a core group of friends, all of whom are just newbies trying to get their first few kill count in the theater. You get together and keep trying and trying and getting a little bit closer each time until you finally manage to get that kill count. It might take weeks or months of trying over and over again and burning through money on every attempt. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of this option because it makes things unnecessarily difficult. In real life, if you're going to try something new and challenging, you're typically going to do it with someone who's more experienced than you and can guide you on how to do it correctly. If you're hunting a big game animal for your first time, you're not going to go out there with four guys who have never held a gun before and hope you get lucky you're going to go with a guide who knows what to do. So that brings us to option number two, which is mentor raids. A mentor raid is just like a newbie raid, except one of the players is a super experienced player, usually with 500 or more kill count, maybe even 1600 kill count, who will come in and give everyone tips on what they need to do differently, and try and carry a little extra weight. There's occasionally streamers who will host mentor raids on their stream, so keep an eye on that and try to find someone who's hosting. There's also occasionally mentor raids for Theater of Blood in the We Do Raids Discord, so I also suggest joining them and watching for a mentor to take a team through. Now, this still isn't foolproof, because you're going to be trying to get your kill count with usually just one person who really knows what they're doing, and everyone else is newbies who still might make the team wipe. So the third and final option is to join a high-level PVM clan. Look at the official RuneScape forums and you'll see plenty of PVM and raid clans with varying requirements. Find one that has requirements you can meet, both gear and stat-wise. You also want to try and find a clan that is willing to take learners into raids with them. If you can get in a raid with your clan that has three experienced players and you, it's almost certainly going to be a successful kill count for you. Remember though, not everyone is going to be willing to take a learner in with them, but anytime someone is willing to take you into the theater with them, jump on that chance and do your very best. None of these options are perfect, and they're all time consuming. I personally used a combination of number two and number three until I was at about 20 kill count, at which point I started having a lot more consistent success with regular teams. A team of four players who each just have 20 kill count is still a lot more likely to get through the raid than a team of four players who each have 0 to 5 kill count. 
it still took me about a month just to get from 0 to 20 kill count. So it can take a lot of time and effort, but here's the good news. It gets slightly better with every kill count you get. It's just a little bit easier to get on a winning team when you have one kill count instead of zero. When you get to five kill count, it's still easier. By the time you get to 10 kill count, you can get in teams with other learners who also have 10 kill count and actually have a decent chance of getting another kill count together. So just keep trying, put in the hours, and always be willing to go back into the theater with any team that will take you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to help me keep creating content.